This is a 2019 Cadillac XT4 and this is the Sport trim level. We'd like to thank our friends at Snow Motors of Mankato for loaning us this beautiful 2019 Cadillac XT4. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. Today we're with this 2019 Cadillac XT4 and this is the Sport trim level. And if you want to keep up to date with new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you want to know all the latest vehicle technologies, and you love cool collector car stories, take a second to hit that subscribe button below and ring that bell notification so you never miss a video. So what do you say, Nathan? Let's, Let's go, go for, for a ride. ride. And wow, I, I love these seats. Uh, there are so many ways to control them, um, uh, including uh, massaging seats. Um, the, 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 you can set the side bolsters, you can set the back bolsters, you can set the bottom of the seat. Um, so the seats in this particular car are just fantastic. The headroom is plenty. Um, you got plenty of adjustments power-wise on the seat. Um, I'm certainly not feeling like I'm clamped for legroom or um, that the steering wheel isn't adjusted right. That is a power tilt and telescope. And I've got to say, it's insulated really well. Um, I've had it, you know, out on the highway. I've had it on town roads. And it's just so well insulated, you know. And in, in terms of uh, ride quality, it's, it's it's nice. It handles all those little, um, you know, strips in the uh, the tar when they've worked on the road. All the little crevices, just it's very smooth over them. Um, a very nice ride. Very very nice. I love the heads-up display, multicolored. I'll show you that in the interior review. I'm enjoying that massage you see it right now. I set, I set the back to massage. I've got mine on too. <laughs> these, these are heated and ventilated seats as well on both sides. Yeah, and both both uh, driver and passenger seats have massaging. Yep. They're basically the same seat. All power, all heated, ventilated, all massaging, both of them. It's, just, it's really nice. And so I'm gonna pull over in a minute here and we're gonna let Rob drive. Okay, one thing I like right away that I noticed, easy entry and exit. And that's one of the cool things about an SUV, but even with this, it's not that high, even though you're sitting high, you've got a good vantage point. It's not a large, tall step in to get into the vehicle or out of it. I like that. Oh um, boy, this, oh wow. Not, okay, all right. Handles. You think Cadillac, you think back to the big land yachts of the 70s and how they just kind of waft and wallow over the road. This thing handles like a sports car. Wow, okay. I, I don't know if you noticed, but these side bolsters. Hell are me impressed. Yeah, these side bolsters really hold you in those seats. Yeah. Which is nice, I, you know, I felt them several times. It is so absolutely quiet in here. I um, you don't realize how quickly you get up to speed, and it's such so easy to get up to speed. It's very peppy. If if you do a quick tap down on the cruise control, the minus and plus, it'll go one mile an hour either direction. Okay. But if you hold it for just a second longer, yep, it'll jump by fives. Ah, okay. My car does that. I like that. I, I like that ability. If not, if you're just doing it by single mile an hour you're sitting there clicking the switch clicking the switch and it just gets monotonous i am really impressed by how it handles and let's get into it here 
Okay. Wow. It is peppy. <laughs> it's plenty of good takeoff. I mean, it's not a, you know, it's a little SUV, so it's not very light. It's got some weight to it. And just overall, we're doing some roundabouts right now, which is uh, the only cool part about a roundabout, because I hate them, is the fact that if you've got a car that handles really well, it's a cool place to play around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Hold I'm, on, Nathan. I'm, I'm gonna wind I'm you up. I'm holding on. You got me pinned against the door. I can't. I can't do anything, anyways. Oh boy, it just goes. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> um, you know, we've driven a few cool sport cars, sports cars lately, and it it, it doesn't handle exactly like they do. No, it but it is on par with them. My gosh, it is sporty, isn't it? it? You would not expect that. Okay, Cadillac XT4 Sport. It lives up to its name. I don't know if it's really that different from the other uh, trim levels, but the Sport, if they if they really meant it and they've changed up the steering uh, geometry and just the responsiveness a little bit more, it, they, they did a good job with it. This, yeah. is, um, this is good. I like it. I like it a lot. Very impressed. So you know what's next, Nathan? <laughs> brace, brace, brace. <laughs> well, we're going to get up here a little bit out of the way of any. I want to make sure I crest this hill so we make sure there's no traffic coming so we can do this appropriately. And here we go. Oof. Sure, confident, didn't feel it pull one way or the other. It not, didn't lock up, of course, it's analog brakes, uh, but very confident on the braking. I like it. So up next, my uh, exterior Your, review and, and later, my interior review. Later, that's the end of the video. <laughs> no, later, Nathan will thank you for a uh, review of the interior and all the gadgets and gizmos and electronics. Yeah, it's loaded. <laughs> the Cadillac XT4 for 2019 starts at $34,795. This one is the Sport All Wheel Drive and it is stickered at $57,055 with all the accessories and options. This is powered by a two liter tur turbo four cylinder engine producing 237 horsepower, 258 pound foot of torque. It is driven with a nine speed automatic transmission. It does have automatic start stop, all wheel drive, a 3.47 ratio axle and four wheel anti-lock brakes. On the front end, you do have LED headlights, automatic on-off headlights with tunnel detection for all those folks that drive in tunnels. A lot of those are in the cities, also through the mountains. Uh, LED front lamp turn signal, front cornering lamps. On this version, it is a sport, so you have the blacked out sport grill. And then also, as an option, you do have the rain sense automatic wipers. You do have body colored heated driver side auto dimming power folding outside mirrors and you have body colored door handles. I like the detail on the door handle and of course I got a little bug there. Uh, of course you've, with the key fob in your pocket you can just uh, mash uh, the uh, chrome tab there and that will lock and unlock the car for you and you see the turn signal indicators there. I also want to show you this has the uh, cameras underneath as well so that's cool so you got the 360 view cameras on this uh, on this vehicle you do have the 18 inch 10 spoke alloy wheels with diamond cut argent metallic finish i love them i think they're beautiful absolutely beautiful wheels now there are 20 inch available but these 18 are wrapped in p23560r 18 all season wheels. I wanted to get over to this side to give you a little bit better view of the little bit of a gloss shine that they have on them. Now, this car does have stability track, electronic stability control system with traction control, lane change alert with side blind uh, zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, and I imagine then that's what the little sensor there is for. HD vision rear camera, and Nathan will show you that in a little bit, and I've got a picture of that. It's up top here under the rear spoiler and uh, one of my favorite things it actually does have a washer nozzle on it so that's the inside rear view mirror when you uh, engage in reverse it gives you an hd vision uh, rear camera instead of just the standard um, mirror so it is electronic 
You do have front and rear park assist. You have hill start assist, intelligent brake assist, intelligent brake fade resistance, McPherson strut front suspension, multi-link rear suspension. You do have the acoustic laminated front and front side and windshield glass, and you had the rear and back window tinted privacy glass. This vehicle also comes with remote start and it comes with the capless uh, fuel filler as well as keyless open. You do have on the back the LED tail lights, power lift gate, rear intermittent wiper, and you see at the bottom here you do have the dual exhaust. Fuel tank capacity is 16.3 gallons. Economy is estimated at 22 city, 29 highway. And I want to show you inside the cargo volume. Let's pop that up. That is, like I said, the power tailgate. Okay. With, it's a two row SUV, so no third row here, but with the, uh, with the um, seats folded on the second row, and only the front row being used you got 48.9 cubic feet as you see it here you have 22.5 cubic feet of cargo okay overall height of the vehicle is 63.2 inches wheelbase it rides on 109.4 inches overall length is 181.06 inches now the uh, max width without the mirrors and I don't know why they ever give that dimension because I've never seen people actually take the mirrors off but anyway when you're parking in your garage the max width without the mirrors is 76.65 inches uh, the track on the front width is 63.23 inches rear track 63.11 inches minimum ground clearance 6.7 inches base curb weight 3896 pounds passenger capacity 5 passengers as far as styling goes in this vehicle I do like the lines and I like the uh, Cadillac SUV look for their tail lights that come up the D pillar uh, I really do like that look it's reminiscent of kind of uh, the Volvo wagons as, and some of their SUVs as well I like that it gives more visibility I do like the cut lines one of my favorite lines is right here that comes under this tail light and goes back up right over the door handles but my favorite design feature of this is actually this line here you can see it going forward and then it comes in cascades and blends into the flat part of this rear tail light now overall as i said the styling is really nice uh, one of the cool things again i like about this i think is a hit uh, i like the matte black on the bottom as well as the gloss black and you can see that it gives a nice contrast uh, one of the misses, I'm not very happy, particularly with the way they've got the reflector and the backup lights down here. I know a lot of vehicles are doing that. I know it's cool to put the lights down there, uh, especially those backup lights where it casts more light, uh, where you can see better. I just don't know if it goes with the overall design language of the back end. Uh, maybe they did it because it kind of mimics the uh, twin exhaust. I'm not sure. I really don't like that. Another one of the cues on this vehicle that I do like is the detail in the door handles. You see the lines there along the door handles. It could have just been a flat door handle with no character, but no, Cadillac took the time to do that right. Very nicely done. I like all the blackout as well because this is a sport edition and it is the gloss black. It's not the flat black. So very nicely done there as well. And you see again that two-tone matte and gloss black along the bottom. And then you see the matte black come up over the wheel arches. And then one of the coolest things I like is the very subdued Cadillac badge. I like that. And also on the front end, another hit is the overall front end design. I love the grill. Again, more the matte and the gloss black. I think they did a very good job with it. I love the cut lines on the hood that give it like a power dome look. The uh, only other hit I would say is it's really tough because you've got all these SUVs that are basically a two box design and the front ends are nice, the actual tail end is nice, but the overall styling, they all kind of just blend together. 
That's not a knock on Cadillac. That's not a knock on any other brand. It is just what it is when you have a two box design like these uh, today's SUVs are. Now, uh, you know, we talked about before earlier, safety, price, appearance, dependability, and economy. On the safety, uh, IIHS has not rated it, but NHTSA has, and it comes out as uh, overall five-star rating. Uh, price on this vehicle is $57,055. Uh, it is a small SUV, but I think it's in direct comparison and with the uh, BMW 3 Series and Audis. So for what you get on those um, luxury small SUVs, I think it's right on par for the same price. Appearance, it has a classic art and science Cadillac look. I like all the sharp creases and lines of the Cadillac design language. Uh, depend dependability, uh, this particular vehicle has not yet been rated. Uh, if you've seen anything on any ratings of Consumer Reports or anything like that, please leave some comments down below to let us know about its dependability. Economy. Uh, it's average for small luxury SUVs, 22 city, 29 highway. Again, this is a four liter, uh, excuse me, a two liter four cylinder uh, double overhead cam engine with a turbo. So that does give you a little bit more spunk, a little bit more torque, and it does give you better fuel mileage. So Nathan's back here tapping me on the shoulder like a little kid that's got to go to the bathroom. And I know what he wants. Give me here! Yes, I know what he wants. He wants to get inside and take you guys for a tour and show you all the cool features and gizmos. And we talked about that a little bit. Uh, but Nathan, all right, your turn. Take it away. All right. Well, finally, it's about time. <laughs> Come on in. Uh, this is just, it's a beautiful gray. It's nice, all soft touch. It's got this orange stitching on it. You got this carbon fiber piece in here, which it also continues all of that right into the dashboard again with the stitching here um, coming on over just a very smooth flat looking surface on the dashboard and we come back down here we got some more of that carbon fire trim down here and uh, that orange stitching now that orange stitching continues on the leather seats these are heated and cooled they have very comfortable seats, very adjustable, and we'll talk about that in a minute. But this, this orange stitching just carries throughout the entire cabin. And you can even see in the back seat here that the orange stitching continues on both sides. So just in general, a really nice uh, look uh, to this car and I love all of the soft touch materials uh, you notice even on the center console this this parts this part right here is hard um, but it's not like hard hard plastic it's it's not like it's got a texture to it uh, and then this is all soft of course and up here so it's just really nice uh, feel to it and the seats feel just incredible they're just really nice all right so Let's just take a look at a few of the things that are on the door. You have standard one up and down windows in the back and you have auto up and down windows in the front. This is of course your window lockout. This is your power folding mirrors. And then of course your mirror controls, left mirror, right mirror. This does have a three person memory setting right here. And then of course your lock buttons. I like it on the window. If you notice right here, there's a separate piece here. Um, this does not, of course, roll down when the window does, but I like it they left it glass and they haven't blacked it out. All right, moving on down here, you've got this nice, pla thicker plastic legend. We're, I'm seeing this more and more in cars where they're trying to protect the carpet in the areas that are a little bit harder to clean and making the plastic there a little thicker and, and wider, and I really, really like that. Okay, seats. Oh, man, both seats are the same. So... This has to do with your lumbar settings. You can just set the lumbar manually, and I'll show you on the infotainment screen, um, or this is the also massaging. Now, once the massaging is turned on and you've got the feature set where you want it, this basically works as an on-off button. Press it once and it turns it on. Press again and it turns the massage off. But it remembers the settings that you have had, so that's really neat. And then you basically got an, uh, an eight-way power, so you got backwards, forwards, Tilt the front, up or down. So that's one, two, three, four. Straight up, 
straight down, five, six, and then of course tilt, seven and eight. And that doesn't include all the stuff you have with lumbar. And when you talk about lumbar support, you've got lumbar on the side bolsters and you've got lumbar in here on both seats. So the seats in this thing are just, the front seats are just beautiful. They're so comfortable to sit in. All right. Coming down here, I do like the fact that the uh, even the floor mats, the rubber floor mats, have the Cadillac logo on them. Now you do have a footrest in there, and of course your uh, pedals down there. Coming up here, you have got your parking brake here. It doesn't light up, but it does show you on your dashboard that it's on. This is your, of course, your um, driver's information center dimming and brightness switch, and then your heads-up display. Um, and I'll show you all those buttons in a little bit. Okay. Let's step in and start it up. And of course, it is push start. I love that when dials go around. Oh, I like that RPM. It went down below zero and then came back up. Okay, so over here, you've got your uh, RPM gauge. You've got your speedometer. Um, you've got a gas gauge, and you've got a temperature gauge. The difference is here is that now they've got little dashed lines that are digital showing you the fuel level and the same type of dash lines over here that show you the engine temperature. Okay, in the middle you've got a beautiful driver's information display and basically the information that's on the top stays consistent and then the information below this where you see demo mode, this blue line, this is what changes. Okay, and then down here of course you have your miles shell empty which is, stays there all the time which is nice. Uh, your odometer, and then, of course, your gear selector. You've got your cruise control buttons right here. Down here, you've got your phone off. You've got your voice command buttons. You have got your gap setting for your adaptive cruise control. And then, of course, your heated steering wheel, which is awesome. Over here on the right, you have two different types of controls. You've got media controls right here and right here. So this will help you scroll through stations and presets and that kind of stuff. This, of course, is volume down and volume up. This is for your driver's information center, of course, which is right there. All right, this does have auto lights. It also has auto wipers, rain sensing wipers. Okay, moving on over to the infotainment screen. I guess I need to press OK there. All right, a really beautiful eight inch screen. And um, you have a couple of ways of controlling this. Basically, it's all touch up here, except for a physical home button. However, this vehicle does come with a technology package and so you get a, uh, a scroll wheel. And you get some physical buttons to go to certain apps, like uh, this will take you right to media, this will take you right to navigation, this will take you right to your phone, and then this one is the back button. This is, uh, this is a push button, it's also rotary. So if I go like this and I just rotate it, you can see it going through different apps. Now the interesting thing here is, let's say I'm going to navigation. Okay, I just push that rotary knob and it goes right to navigation. Okay, I can zoom in or zoom out using that rotary knob. Okay, what I can't do is, is do anything else once I'm in navigation. So using that rotating wheel with the clicking part of it, which is just simply you push the wheel down, um, you can uh, control a lot of what's in your car. Now, for instance, though, well, here I am on system under settings. And the one thing I can't do is I can't... Let's go back a minute. I can't switch to apps or vehicle. I have to physically click on apps or a vehicle, and then I can use my scroll knob. Because there is no really left-right movement of the, the cursor wheel, uh, so you can't do that. But you can do just a ton of things uh, with the scroll wheel. Okay, I'm going to go back to home for a minute. This does come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, this is a 13-speaker with an auxiliary amplifier Bose audio system and it sounds fantastic. Moving on down here to the climate control system. Um, all the lettering that's up here, this is not touch screen right here. This is just the lettering. All the buttons are down here. Uh, this is dual zone uh, climate control. 
Um, you've got, of course, the different mode settings. You've got your temperature settings for the driver and passenger. And you've got your fan speed. You've got your sync button, which I like when they put that right there so that the temperatures can sync up right away again. And then, of course, your defrosters. Moving down below that, this does have heated and ventilated seats on both sides. So you can have front, um, the, the, the back of the seat and the bottom of the seat both heat, which I like. Sometimes it's only the bottom. I like that three stage and then your fan uh, ventilated seats. I think it's interesting that Cadillac chose to use the same color. Most of the time we see a blue or something there. Uh, but anyways, it does work very effectively. So this button here is your park assist. So if I turn it on, you get a bunch of choices. Okay, what type, parallel or perpendicular? And then are you parking on the right or the left? And basically it will then sense an opening and then it will control the steering wheel. You need to control the throttle, the brake, and the, uh, the shifter. It'll tell you when to shift into drive and when to shift into reverse. It'll do all the steering by itself. These systems work really well just amazing a little scary when you first try them but they're very effective next over here you have a button that is your rear auto brake on and your park assist on so the auto brake what that does is kind of like uh, auto hold uh, on a hill so this turns that on it also turns off the, the parking sensors so when the light is on they're activated and this, and I'll show you a bit later, but this has a hill park where you can, you know, if you're on a hill, you let go of the brake, it doesn't roll backwards. Um, this is, of course, your hazards. Then you have your lane keeping assist button right here to, um, to keep you within the lines of the road. And then, of course, your ventilated and heated seats. Down here, you have a dual USB outlet. One is a USB-C and one is a, a, a standard USB. And then an SD card along with a 12-volt outlet right there. And a nice uh, velvety, velvety lined uh, cubby. Um, the SD card would be used for your navigation. Um, and then the uh, USB you can plug into your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Moving on back here to the gear shifter. This is your park button. Your gear release button is right here. Okay? And the way it works is... If I, uh, uh, if I take it and put it in drive, you can see drive lights up. It also lights up on dashboard. But to go to manual, you just tilt it back again. Now it's in manual. You want to go back to drive? Just pull it back again. Okay? Neutral is one push forward. To go into reverse, you have to push the button again. And then it goes into reverse. Okay, now we're just going to press the park button. When the car is in park, it doesn't light up. And when it's in, when it's out of park, then it lights up, letting you know that it's there to be used. Moving on down here, you've got some physical controls for your audio system. Okay, you've got a volume right here, twist knob. And then, of course, you can scan left or scan right to go up and down radio stations, so on and so forth. This is not a button. That's just an indicator for the volume. And then I talked about these physical controls already. So we'll move over here. You've got traction control on off. This does have the auto start stop feature, which you can turn off on and off from here. And then it has a couple of modes. You've got three. So when you push that, you get tour, all wheel drive. So if you don't have it in all wheel drive, it's two wheel drive. And then of course you have sport. All right, in addition to that, you've got some nice deep cup holders here. They're, uh, even these are soft. Just everything in here is so soft. Um, all right, and then you do have one of my favorite features, which is the wireless charger. Now, I like how they've done this, and I can't show you because I'm using my phone here, but um, you could just slide your phone right in here, and, what they've, and then you can just pull it out when you need it. What makes that possible is they put this very simple little stop here. You see all these little ribs? So this pulls out, and you can put it in a new set of ribs. And then your phone slides, and it's a shorter area. So if you have a shorter phone, you can adjust that. Okay. It also has a nice uh, non-slip or non-skid surface right here. You can take that out, and then it's got the same velvety-lined interior 
along with another 12 volt outlet right there. Okay, well, let's move on over here to the glove compartment. And you have again a soft line glove compartment. So, now I really, really like this digital rear view camera. The one thing I did notice is uh, we were driving and the sun was shining. The, it, it, the glass is so flat and it's kind of got a beveled inside edge and it was catching some glints. So I just, and it was easy to fix. I just took and swiveled it, um, but maybe like a matte black finish around the inside here would reduce some of that glare. Over to the driver. Stepping over to the passenger side, we see the very similar layout here. Nice soft touch materials. Okay. Nice ample storage down there. And then we have, just to show you, you got the same controls on this seat as you do on the driver's seat. Okay. And then we have that really nice little side storage that goes along there. All right, in the back of the 2019 Cadillac XT4, uh, this again is a sport edition. You've got a speaker in the door, you got your power window. I like this little area right here. Okay, it's your grab handle, but I like how it's been designed. You've got that nice carbon fiber look right here. And then of course a bottle holder or a little bit of storage right in here and a speaker in the door. Okay. The seats themselves are a 60-40 split in the rear. You can see there's a rear center armrest with cup holders. Okay. Same beautiful orange stitching. I like how they put this plastic in here to keep stuff from getting on the carpet and getting dirty. Okay. You've got dual seat pockets. Back here you have heated outboard seats. Three stage, which is just so nice in the in the colder weather, and again dual USBs. One is a regular USB, one is a USB C. All right, let's talk a little bit about legroom and headroom. So, sitting in the back seat, I left the seat back where I had it. This is the seat that's farthest back, and that's in front of me. You got this beautiful panoramic roof here, and even with that, I've got, you know, about an inch, a little maybe a little more. Plenty, plenty of space. And then down here on my knees, I, I've got several inches of space. Uh, not an issue, for, especially for being a small, compact SUV. Uh, it feels very spacious back here, very comfortable. I can lean back a little bit in my seat, and I've got plenty of room for my legs. I also like how they've given you plenty of room under the seat so that your feet can extend comfortably out. Sometimes seats are low and you can't, you know, you're kind of stuck in this position, but you've really got some room to stretch your legs out. All right, so my favorite feature on this car, I actually haven't shown you yet, because I want to wait till the end, okay? We've seen this on cars such as the Rolls Royce, uh, the Bentleys get it on a Cadillac. Now, it doesn't come with the umbrella. However, you do have, right here it says, umbrella storage, and there is the opening. Ah, you gotta love that. And Rob's favorite thing is this washer nozzle on the digital rear view mirror camera. 2019 Cadillac X XT4. XT4. I was going to say Escalade, but it's a little shorter than the Escalator. Just a little bit. Escalator. Cut. That was horrible. Yeah. The, the burn mark across <laughs> my chest will testify to that. The seat belts work just fine. I thought you were going to say one of your favorite things was me. Hold that thought. 